Gettysburg College in Pennsylvania has recently postponed an event that centered around being tired of cis white men. So I met UT campus to ask students what they think about the event. Let's go find out. Black Saying like matter. we're tired of straight. It's crazy, bro. Did, did y'all not just see? Look at this. UT campus to ask students what they. They got a BLM flag. Uh, I, what flag? I don't even know, bro. But it's crazy how they can hang up these flags. But I don't know if y'all remember the last video I reacted to how they said the American flag was offensive. But none of these flags right here are offensive. Okay. Anyways, come on. They think about the event. Let's go find out. Saying like we're tired of straight white men in society is really as like explicit as it sounds. I think it's just contributing to a general idea that like we're tired of straight white men having the power and everything, you know? And it's like we as women of color, as like students at this university, like we are very much capable of certain things and we don't have the same privileges that are offered to straight white men. <laughs> and I've been hearing that from a lot of the ladies that I've been talking to today. Talk to me about what some of those privileges are that, you know, straight white men have that you don't have. Talk to me about that. Um, I think, I mean, I don't really know. Have you ever experienced like a specific instance? Oh, I don't know, but I also need to go. I know, I, sorry, I, I do really need sorry. to go. I'm sorry. Oh, now y'all gotta go. Now y'all got. This shows how people just go along with what the media tells them. This shows how people just go along with all the narratives and everything that is put out to, to the public. This, this shows. These people don't even be knowing what they be talking about. They just be talking. Okay, they just agree with what sounds good. Don't even do research behind. They couldn't even give examples. They couldn't even give no example. Now all of a sudden they gotta go. Man, you people, some of you people are, some of you people in America are ridiculous. Okay, seriously. I also need to go. I know, I, sorry, I do really need sorry. to go. I'm sorry. As especially people of color, we know the privileges or the advantages certain races have. Talk to me about some of those privileges that white people have that you guys don't have. Um, I would just be like, okay, uh, I guess I'll start with I am a black queer person. Uh, if I were to just walk amongst the streets, I'm also like women, like identify, all right, look very feminine if I were to walk across the streets in the dark as a black queer female presenting person I would not feel safe uh, because I feel like I'd be pretty targeted but if I were a white cis man I don't think I'd be like the type of person someone would come up to and hate crime because that's just not what happens I'm what? certainly cognizant of my what the what is Bro, I did not understand not a single thing that woman just said. I'm I'm done pausing. I'm done. I'm done. I, I can't. Hate crime because that's just not what happens. I'm certainly cognizant of my own privilege because of my my own race. This is the color of my skin. Um, what privileges are those? Lots of. Th I mean, like, I think there are certain assumptions that come with so certain people. Like they when they look at. A black person or an Indian person, they, they automatically have this profile in their head, you know, racial profiling, and that still exists. I mean, we, we're not going to escape that until human depravity itself goes away. Talk to me about some of the privileges that m white men are awarded that you guys are not awarded. Um, definitely, like, I guess just getting away with situations. Like, if I were to, like, I don't know, like, I guess. You people are stupid. You people are freaking stupid. I mean, seriously, y'all y'all just go along with it. <laughs> Cause you know why they can't say that? Because it's not a such thing, okay? It's not a such thing. You you people always say white privilege, white man this and white, bro. You can't even give an example of what privilege you know what I'm saying? Do they have that 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 uh that you don't have? Y'all can't even give examples. That shows that you guys listen to anything that is put out on the media. You people are ridiculous, okay? Before y'all seriously, before y'all wanna, you know what I'm saying, go with what y'all see on the internet and things like that, just do some deeper research behind the behind the things that y'all are uh pledging, behind the things that y'all are voting for. Just do some deeper research. It takes no time, no effort to look up what you need to look up in order to, and so you won't look stupid. It takes no time for that. No time at all, bro. There you go. I have to think about it. <laughs> I can't. Um, 
it's situations like if I had a problem with like a male teacher and they were a white cis male, there was less of a chance for something to happen to them because of it. Like I could literally report them for anything, but because of that, if they were like upstanding in the community, sucks to me be basically. Do you think that it would be the same reaction if it was like a black male teacher? No. No. I think the problem would be solved immediately. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like um, POC people are like more targeted, or minorities are more targeted, especially with like crimes in general, or if a person of color was to do something wrong, um, people would deal with it more quickly than if it was a cis white male. So you mentioned um, straight white men having more privileges. Can you talk to me about what some of those privileges are? Um, yeah, so generally, um, you know, there's not really ever a sense of like discrepancy whenever um, someone is trying to, let's say for instance, there is, um, there oh is a, a man who commits a crime and he's, you know, a regular looking white guy police are, you know, generally more likely to not have adverse reactions to them. Say if they're like having any sudden movements or sharp movements, they'll generally be more lenient with them compared to if it was like a black or brown person. Bro, that is freaking cap. That is freaking cap, bro. You know how many white males there are that died by the police because that they, they would there would uh they were not compre uh comprehending, not comprehending. It's not the word I'm looking for. Because they were not co uh, cooperating with the police. So do you not understand how many white males there are that died by the police? If you do any type of sudden movement, anything, you reach in your pockets and the police say, let me see your hands. But you over here reaching in your pockets. Number one, you may get tased. Number two, if they feel truly threatened, you know what I'm saying? You have murders behind your name, anything, then you may get shot. But come on, bro. Y'all be making up anything. Literally anything. I could literally pull up any per any white male right now. I could look up just police brutality on a white male, something. I could look up that, and I will see a whole bunch of white men who done got beat by the police, killed by the police, anything. And you will see why they did, why they, the police did what they did because of the white man actions. Same thing with black people. If black people just comprehend, not even not comprehend, but cooperate, if they cooperate with the police. I promise you. 95% of the black community would not be dead by the police. I promise you that. And I'm just saying 90%, 95% hypothetically. That's probably not even the right percentage. I'm just saying that hypothetically. But you people need to seriously do some research behind everybody that done died by the police. Did you not know that there are more white people that died by police than black people? But there are more black on black crime than there is a white, a white cop killing a black person. It's all within the statistics. You don't got to look up statistics. Just look at it. Look at it in Chicago. Look at it in Detroit. <sighs> Where do you get that analysis from? Um, like statistics, crime statistics, uh, rates of arrest compared to uh, uh, comparing, uh, you know, white people to like black and brown people or minorities in general. Um, what would you say to people who say, like, the black community commits the majority of the crime, that's why they're more likely to be arrested? What would you say to that point? Uh, I would say that there are uh, certain factors of society that have contributed to black and brown people being more impoverished. Mm -hmm. And crime is uh, sort of the way that um, a lot of people see an escape oh, from this poverty, you know, stealing is a crime but say you're a hungry man and you go into a grocery store and you steal some food for you or your family is that really a crime or are you just trying to survive at that point you know well y'all bro what what fam stealing is stealing <laughs> rather you poor or not you go into another person business you know what I'm saying? another person business let me move. Let me move to the center because right I think the video's over at this point. Okay, uh, if you 
go into another person's place of business where they have to make their money to feed their family. And you go out there and steal because you're trying to feed your family. Look, stealing is stealing. Regardless if you're poor, if you have $5, $10, look, stealing is stealing. A crime is a crime. You can't say, oh, you're, or you're just trying to uh, survive at that point. It's a lot of homeless people out here and a lot of homeless people that just don't steal from uh, places, a business. They don't steal from gas stations. Some of them don't steal from restaurants. They don't steal from stores. You know what they do? They just probably go in the garbage can or go to a restaurant in the garbage can and get the leftover food. You know what I'm saying? Because if you had never worked at a fast food restaurant, at the end of the shift, we have food left over. What we do is throw it away. And a lot of homeless people will go in the garbage and eat whatever is left over in the garbage can. But, dog, a crime is a crime. You people just make excuses, excuses, excuses. But y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know. Y'all can't even get one example of white privilege. Y'all can't even give one example. Y'all, um, um, um. That's because it's not real. It's, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. These woke, these woke liberals, okay, they literally cannot... Give one example of white privilege, but everything is white privilege. Everything, but they can't get one example. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Uh, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Being your boy, the pan. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.